first step of this project is to take your fuel inlet and eliminate this auxiliary circuit and simply plumb your fuel filters directly into the back side of the hydraulic head. Secondly, we need to remove fuel going to this side of the FDC by eliminating it from this T fitting. All right, when you pull these fuel lines apart, one thing you will notice, your outlet from your fuel filters is not quite long enough to comfortably mount it into the back side of the hydraulic head. If you use this line, it's going to be on enough of a bind, it's going to also rub on the fuel filters. There's a good likelihood that that will snap going down the road. So, what you need to do is remove the fuel return line, which routes down. There's a hose clamp here on the side of the block. It just takes a 916 socket to remove it that runs all the way to the return side of the hydraulic head. All that you need to do is remove this line and move it to the inlet of the hydraulic head, again back to the outlet of the fuel filters. Alright, here's what our fuel lines look like now that the hydraulic head has been effectively replumbed. Again, this is the old return line. I left the hose clamp on just for illustration purpose. You've got a lot more line to work with. If you rotate this fitting on the, on the uh, inlet of the hydraulic head and rotate the fitting on the fuel filter outlet slightly, you can make this line not rub and have plenty of clearance to safely vibrate as the engine runs. And the return to the fuel filters, you simply plug it right into the outlet of the hydraulic head on this check valve assembly. And again, if you rotate these fittings slightly, you can route this line so that it safely tucks around every obstacle without rubbing and without, uh, without being too close for comfort. Now we have an open hole here that we need to either A plug with a quarter inch pipe plug. I use brass whenever I'm working in a fuel system. Or if you're in a pinch and this is a roadside emergency, you can take the fuel jumper line. These are a bit stiff so it's not the easiest task in the world. And simply loop it and tighten your fittings. And now this half of the FDC is now bypassed. Next we'll go on to the back side. This fitting is much the same. All that we're doing is taking this elbow out and removing this T fitting and putting the elbow in so it connects to the injector rail return. And then we are going to plug this line off in the exact same way that we did with the fuel inlet product. Again, this is the fuel return from the injector rail. Simply goes right into the check valve out of the hydraulic head. This is our return from the hydraulic head back to the fuel filter housing. And our fuel filter outlet to the inlet of the hydraulic head. And on the back side here, again, if you're in a road pinch or something, you can take that plastic line, simply loop it end to end in that T fitting we removed on the left side here. Tighten both sides down. As long as your line's not cracked, you're sealed. And your FDC is now bypassed. And that should solve your uh, gaining oil problem nine times out of 10. Well, if you guys have found this video helpful, uh, by all means, leave a comment and uh, let me know if there's anything I should do to improve these in the future. Thanks a lot. Take care.